Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Lou from LukaMHD. Today, I'm going to tell you guys 10 things I wish I knew before I started using Premiere Pro. So the first one that we're going to start with is clear your cache, please. Clear your cache, you know. So as you're editing, in the background, Premiere Pro is busy creating files as you're editing, as you're editing and as you like putting on effects and, and transitions and, and stuff. So it's in the background, it's busy, you know, creating files. So you need to clear that. Okay, so to do that, go to edit and then go down to preferences and then select media. So ideally you would want to have um, a designated hard drive to store all your your premier files you know your your media cache so you need to clean this regularly you know maybe once a month or something like that it depend depending how many projects that you 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 you, you handle you just press clean it's gonna delete all the old files you know and then your premiere pro is gonna be kind of new so if you haven't done this please do this go to your computer right now and just clean your cache that's it you're done and then just close this and the second thing that you're gonna be talking about is adjustment layers you know adjustment layers you have to use adjustment layers you know let's say you 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 have this clip right here and you have this clip right here and you apply an effect on this one instead of copying and pasting you know the effect you can just create an adjustment layer on top of them and then apply the effect and then it's gonna affect both of your clips so to do that go to your new item and then select adjustment layer and then press OK. Take that and then drag it and drop it on top of your clips. Right? And then maybe let's go to effects. And let's search for VHS. Universe. Let's drag it and drop it on top of that. As you can see, it's affecting uh both clips in just one go you know so that's the second thing that um i wish i knew you know before i started using premiere pro okay so the third thing that you're going to be talking about is audio syncing you know there's the easiest easiest way you know to to sync up your your audio let's say you have the audio from the camera right here and then you have your mp3 right here and actually i have made a video on on this select both your audios and then right click and then go to synchronize and then make sure that audio is selected and then just press ok and premiere pro is going to do all the work for you so now you have your clip your uh, your clip <laughs> so the fourth thing that we're going to be talking about is organizing your bins guys i can't tell you how important this thing is so this area right here is where you're going to be keeping all your stuff you know you just create you know little bins inside here to do that you just right click and then press new bin and then name it whatever you want to name it and then you can just select you can just drag and drop you know everything that you want to drag and drop in that bin so everything stays organized you know this helps you work faster edit faster and it's just you know so efficient and and also with that you can also just color coordinate your stuff you know like the, you know okay this clip is that clip you know and this clip is that clip so what you're gonna do just right click and then go to label 
and then maybe press mango you know it's gonna change color like that and then you know okay this one is that and that one is that you know with color and stuff so the fifth thing that we're going to be talking about is duplicate instead of you now having to press ctrl c ctrl v you can just like let's say you want to duplicate this clip you know you want to create another one what you can do is to press down alt and then drag this clip on top you can even drag it on on the side you know any size that you want you can just create as many as you want in just one click just using alt the alt key the sixth thing that you're going to be talking about is cutting your stuff so you can use the razor you know that's cool but there's there's a there's a shortcut to that like let's say by using the your your head play so like let's say now you want to cut it right here so you can just press down um control k and then it's just gonna cut it like that without now having to press the the razor tool so you can just cut it in just one go one step control k and then you cut it right there okay so now moving on to to the seventh tip so this one is so random you know but i've wasted a lot of time on this on this thing like let's say now you want to bleep out something you know i've wasted so much time you know going on youtube just to di just to download just this one thing that comes with premiere pro so you go to a new item button and then press buzz and tone press ok then drag it and drop it where you want to bleep out your stuff and then you can just just like that i don't know how many times i actually went to youtube and downloaded this exact thing but it comes with premiere pro high quality and stuff so now the eighth thing that we're going to be talking about is the dynamic link dynamic link like let's say now you you have this clip and then you want to to add an effect that premiere pro doesn't have but after effect has so now instead of you having to go and render this clip so that you can import it on after effect you can just directly edit this on after effect and then preview it in real time in premiere pro so to do that you go to the clip what i like to do is to create another clip you know to to add the effect on and then i'm going to delete the bottom one later after you know uh when i'm gonna be like rendering and stuff so you go to your clip and then you right click and then press replace with after effects composition so it's gonna take the clip and then it's gonna throw it to after effects and then you can just add any effect that you want to add um let's say animate it whatever you want to do it's a free country and then So I have this cool little animation right here. After you're done with that, you just save it by pressing Control S and then go back to Premiere Pro to preview it in real time. Get here, you save it, and then you can just watch it in real time. <laughs> you know, simple as that without having to export import you know you save so much time with this technique i think it's super great okay moving on right now let's go to nine number nine is lots lots let's say you don't have time to actually color grade this stuff or you can't color grade for that matter so now you can use LUTs, you know, LUTs are already prepared, it's color grades that are already prepared for you. So you go to your Lumetri tab, if you don't see it right here, you just go to window and then select uh, Lumetri color right there. You don't go to basic corrections to choose your LUT, you can, but don't, because 
right here you can't you don't have the the intensity button so that you can choose how much you want the light to affect your clip so you go to creative tab and then right here we have the intensity button right here so you go now and browse for the light that you want to use And then choose whatever light that you want to use so now we have our our clip already you know color graded and it looks so pretty you know ah this is so pretty this is so so pretty so we have our light right there so now you can tone it down if you want a bit maybe make it 50 right there and uh so that's that's the quickest way you know to to color grade without um doing anything you know you can just go and buy lots or download free lots or create your own lots for that matter you know and and save them so that you don't have to now come and color grade each and every time you know and also that helps sort of um, develop a a look you know your own aesthetic look if you sort of create your own lot so you kind of have this one look that identifies you so right now moving along to number 10 the last one so let's say we're shooting this video right now in, in 4k and you want to preview it you know and it sort of lags you know it's sort of slow you know you see it's lagging and stuff so you can get away with this while you're editing how by you see this little drop menu right here so now it's playing on full so you can just play it on quarter if you want to you know so now the footage itself it's not affected you're not losing any quality you know you can also put it in half uh, Premiere Pro sort of crushes the the quality you know temporarily and uh, that's uh and that's it and uh, bonus bonus tip you know just now we're talking about this actually there's this tool called the global effect mute it's this one right here this shit is magic what it does while you're busy editing you know you have your effects you have your color grade you have your transitions and stuff like that what you can do you can mute your effects by just pressing this this little effects uh icon right here so now you can just preview your stuff without the effect and then when you're done you can just put it back if you don't see it you go on this button editor right here and then you just uh, look for it here it is you just drag it and drop it on this menu right it is so it's so dope I use this all the time also another thing another bonus tip another second bonus tip is to ripple delete so let's say you want to cut this piece right here you want to cut it take it out you can do that right and then now you're gonna have to to drag this piece right here and then put it on this side you know uh, I'm gonna show you a better way to do this what you can do is to cut the piece that you don't want right and then right click it and then select ripple delete so it's gonna it's just gonna put these two clips together you know save so much time that is so genius anyway guys uh i hope this was helpful and uh thank you for watching i appreciate your likes and your suggestions you know and your and your comments so if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing i've got a lot of tutorials for you guys coming up and as always see you guys in the next one peace